My name is Nicola and I'm an Operating Department Practitioner and I currently work in the Theatre's Practice Education team. During the operation I'll help monitor the patient's vital signs and then deal with whatever um, comes up during the operation. So that might be more drugs or getting a um, blood for a transfusion or something like that. At the end of the operation the anaesthetist and I will extubate the patient um, to make sure they're breathing properly. We'll then take them round to recovery and hand them over to the recovery staff and then when by the time we come back to the anaesthetic room there's normally another patient there and we start the whole thing again. Probably the biggest challenge of the role is having to deal with the unexpected because things can change quite suddenly. The way of getting around that or dealing with it is making sure you're organised and you've done all your checks in the morning, make sure you've got everything that you might need and making sure you're up to date with all your, all your training and you've practised all your skills that don't come up all that often. I think the most rewarding part of um, my role is the impact we can have on patients' lives. Even if it's something that we do every day, it's a major part of, of their life. We can fix things and it's rewarding and a privilege to be involved in that. We're all there for the patients. It's important to have a, a caring nature as well because you're one of the few people that the patient sees while they're awake and you have maybe 10 minutes to build a rapport with them, make sure they are um, a bit more relaxed and try and put them at ease, so that's a really important part. I came into uh, this career reasonably late. I knew I wanted to do something in healthcare. I was looking at a nursing course one day and I saw a link to operating department practice. I had a look and from that day I was fascinated. I loved the idea of working in an operating theatre and being able to see surgery. So if you're interested in operating department practice, often hospitals will run open days so you can come and meet the staff and ask some questions about what they do. Other people apply to be theatre support workers. That means they can get an experience of theatres uh, to decide whether it's right for them before they start. The advantage of um, going the theatre support worker route is it gives you um, better access to doing our ODP apprenticeship, which allows you to do a three-year training programme on the job where you get paid while you train to be an ODP. So if you'd like to apply to be an ODP, then ideally I would find someone to speak to who, has, who does the role that you're interested in. One of the ways of doing that is applying to be a theatre support worker so you can experience theatres and develop from there.